Ah, nothing like returning the club penguin. It feels like I'm back in the early 2000s again. Wait, wait, hey yo, what the f Okay, let's set the scene. It's 2005. YouTube has just been founded and a guy talking about elephant trunks is the first video uploaded on the platform. Also, the Xbox 360 just launched. And to top it all off, the best Star Wars movie released. I don't care what you have to say, fight me on it. Whilst all this was going on, a little developer called New Horizon Interactive were gearing up to release an MMO Penguin game and little did they know at the time, but this game would shake the world. And after a brief beta testing period starting in August of 2005, by October 24th 2005 the world was introduced to Club Penguin. Club Penguin was one of the big free child friendly MMO games of the early 2000s. The other two alongside it were Mushy Monsters and Bin Weevil. I remember spending just as much of my childhood on Mushy Monsters or Moshi Monsters depending on how you say it, just as much as Club Penguin. But as for Bin Weevils, as much as Nickelodeon tried to advertise it to me every night, it just wasn't something child me was ever interested in. But Club Penguin though? <laughs> God damn, Club Penguin was a different beast. If there was ever a reason that I couldn't sit in the living room and play COD 4 or Halo 3 on my Xbox 360, Club Penguin was always there for me on my dad's busted up, shitty, barely working Acer laptop. But it didn't matter to me that my laptop had more viruses than the red light district where it was bandaged together to the point where it looked like a makeshift bomb that would definitely get you some concerning looks whilst walking through an airport. But it never took away from the experience. This game was perfect and could have remained perfect. But sadly, things don't always work out that way. As perfect as Club Penguin was, sadly it wasn't to be that way forever, as in late 2007 Club Penguin would be acquired by Disney. Suddenly, Disney was making all sorts of Club Penguin themed things such as new games releasing on different consoles, animated shorts, tons of merchandise. Disney was going all out on all fronts of their newly acquired IP, but with them doing all of this, one thing they started neglecting more than anything was the original Club Penguin game. After 2013, Club Penguin updates were starting to become fewer and far between. While he did add some new content, which was appreciated by the community such as Car Jitsu, Smoothie Smash and Dance Contest just to name a few. A lot of changes Disney made seemed to change the game's very iconic art style. Every part of the game was getting retouched from the penguins themselves to the puffles that you can own to the areas that you visit. Some opinions on these art style changes differ depending on who you ask because while some older fans may prefer the older designs, some fans that joined later on may prefer the newer ones. Each to their own I guess. You're wrong and you're a grotesquely ugly freak. But sadly though, all good things must come to an end, and on the 30th of March 2017, Club Penguin shut down, with over 330 million accounts that were lost forever. There was a revival project a few years back called Club Penguin Rewritten that lasted for a short while, but due to a mixture of issues including the team behind it monetizing the revival project by running ads, and this wasn't the only Club Penguin revival project, there was another site going by the name Club Penguin Online, and oh boy, the shit that I have read online when researching this is absolutely insane. This got to a point where the fucking BBC, yes, the British Broadcasting Corporation, actually done a story on this. And oh my god, the lore on this, I just absolutely have to talk about it. Honestly, this could be an entire video on its own, and I'm gonna mix in some clips from the BBC report as well because you just gotta see this. There were actual arrests made over this. So, here we go. In the report, a big problem was something the BBC described as Penguin e sex. It's like Game of Thrones with penguins. The site owners had removed content filters, so servers were rampant with homophobic, anti-Semitic and racist messages all over the place. All of a sudden, igloos were being turned into strip clubs of advertisements asking for pimps, but sex wasn't the only thing going on at igloos. There's also some pretty toxic chat and bullying. I saw some horrible anti-Semitism and racism. At one stage I was invited to someone's igloo which had been decorated by spelling out the n-word in chairs. One of the old moderators from the server was also interviewed by the BBC and told them that he would threaten and dox users. I dox users so um, I would dox them uh, which is personal information on the person, their address, what they look like, their family's information etc. Uh, I would DDoS uh, other users, uh, I would uh, threaten people. Uh, I never swatted anyone, I just want to make that clear, never did anything like that. 
Ah, okay, so you were happy enough threatening and doxing users, leaking their information all over the internet, but hey, at least you never swatted anyone. Um, so obviously now I feel really bad about it. There's so much more I could talk about surrounding this server in particular, but this video is about remembering the good times of Club Penguin, and thankfully, there is a new way to play this game that doesn't include any issues that the prior revivals had. So without further ado, let me introduce to you, new Club Penguin. After downloading and making an account for free, I started exploring the world that I fondly remembered growing up in, and visiting all the sites. I then ended up going shopping for some new clothes, talking to other local penguins along the way. The best thing about this new Club Penguin experience is that back in the day when the original Club Penguin was still out, many of the things you could buy, places you could go and games you could play were restricted behind a paywall, where you would have to purchase a membership with real money. Thankfully though, that's now a thing of the past, as there's no need to purchase anything in this game with real money. It's all free. So I bought a bass guitar. Yes, I know it says electric, but let me cope here, and played a little show at the local pizzeria. It's safe to say, everyone loved it. One of my favourite minigames from back in the day was the snow sled race, and when I started playing this, the memories just started flowing back, and I may have got a little competitive. Oh shit! Ha! <laughs> huh, I'm winning! Yes! I think I might be- I'm the god of Club Penguin. I then found out even over 10 years later, I still suck at making pizza. Absolutely no problem. Look at that, I'm just like, doing good. Want. Okay, slow down, please. It's a squid. Right, one, two, three, four. Okay, we, we got this. It's fine. Okay, slow the fucking thing down. Right, just do, do the hard bit first. It's a, it's a the, the fuck. It's just the squids. Fucking hot sauce. Cheese. Out of all the parts of Club Penguin I loved the most though, it had to be Car Jitsu. I played this for hours at a time back in the day. I fondly remember there being a shop in the town that I lived in that sold little card packs that you could use in-game. These were incredibly cool and I wish someday that I could find out where I put all my old cards because between these cards and my Go Go Crazy Bones collection, yeah, I had a lot. Card Jitsu is a simple game, it's pretty much just rock, paper, scissors. You have fire, water and ice. Fire beats ice, water beats fire and ice beats water. On top of this, your card also has a number as well, so if you both draw the same element, a ghost saver has the higher card level. As simple as this may be, time hasn't treated me well, and I'm not the card jitsu black belt master I used to be. Okay. Ah, he's got me, he's got me. It's all down to this card, it's all down to this card. Shit! He got me again. I didn't think of that. <gasps> ah. I did win a couple though and got a new belt. Give me that victory. Give me that victory. Give me that victory. Yes. 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 Finally. It was a lot of fun going back to Club Penguin. It felt different, but also very much the same. Maybe it's just me since I've gotten older, and Club Penguin's just stayed where it was and is a frozen relic of mine and a lot of other people's childhoods. A frozen relic though that's a reminder of how far things have come and yet how we were all entertained by such a simple game all those years ago. There's loads of mini games that I still love but I didn't show them in this video or talk about them such as the Bing game but that was sort of on purpose because I can't show you everything since I always thought it's a bit more special to be able to experience it again for yourself. Shit! What did I just open? I just opened a fucking ad! Fuck. I don't think Club Penguin is going to be something I'm going to be returning to often. And that's okay, I still had lots of fun revisiting it and it's almost like reminiscing seeing an old friend from years ago. And you can smile and think about all the great memories you made together but ultimately, over the years, you've just grown apart and it'll probably stay that way. But regardless, this is a comfort game for me and I'll always be relieved to know that no matter how many times this game gets shut down or taken offline, I know it won't be long till it's back up and running again. I hope you enjoyed today's video on Club Penguin. If you have any memories of Club Penguin of your own from your childhood or just want to share how the game affected you in general, leave a comment telling your story in the comment section down below. 
And if you enjoyed this and had fun, leaving a like and subscribing always helps support the channel and motivates me to make more videos like this. Also, if there's any other older games from your past you may have forgotten about, I have an entire series going through some classics from years gone by, and there may just be a chance that there's one game I may make you remember. I do also highly recommend you to revisit this game if it was a big part of your childhood, because it put a big massive smile on my face and I'm sure it'll put a big smile on your face too. Anyway, with all that said, thank you for watching, have fun, stay safe, and I'll catch you later.